In this video, I will show you how to install Active Directory Domain Services in Windows Server. And as you can see, my Windows Server is installed as a virtual machine in VMware Workstation. And before installing domain services, we need to set a server name and set the IP configuration for the server. And for that, I will select local server here on the left. And here we can see the current name of our server. I will click on the name, then select change. And I will name my server as rv01 and click OK. OK once more. Close. And it's asking us to restart. But in this case, I will select restart later. And now for the EP configuration, we can see our Ethernet adapter here. We can select IPv4 address assigned by DHCP and it will bring us to network connections where we can see our network adapters. Right click on your network adapters and go to properties. And then select internet protocol version 4. And here the configuration will depend on your network settings. First let's select use the following IP addresses. Now for IP address I will enter 192, 168, 10 and 1. This will be the IP address of the server. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And my default gateway in this case is 192.168.10.254. And for the DNS servers, I will use public DNS servers of Cloudflare and Google. So Cloudflare DNS server is 1111. And Google's is 8888. Now click OK, OK, and now we can restart the server. So for that I will go to power and restart. And now we can start installing Active Directory Domain Services. And for that let's click on Add Roles and Features. Click Next here. Make sure a role based or feature based installation is selected and click Next. Here we need to select the server on which we want to install the service and click next. And here we need to select Active Directory Domain Services, add features, and also we need to install DNS server and also select add features. Now let's click next, 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 next and install. Now we can select promote the server to a domain controller here. Here we need to select add a new forest. Now for the root domain name, if it's a test environment, you could use something that doesn't exist. For example, let's do automation dot I don't know, local or LAN. And I also see naming like that in a lot of production environments. But a lot of people doesn't uh, recommend this approach. Uh, at least in the production environment. But for testing purposes, it, it should work just fine. Uh, the more recommended way is to use a subdomain of a domain that you own and I will take this option here and I will use AD that's the subdomain and the domain is let's do automation.com so choose the best option for you and click next and in here in this case the forest and the domain functional level uh, should be highest if it's the first domain server in the domain. But if you have older servers, this server should also match uh, the functional level of those servers. And because it's our first domain services server in the forest, we cannot change anything here. And here we need to enter the directory service restore mode password. So I will enter a password you should also enter it and uh, save it somewhere safe and click next 
we cannot select anything here so click next and for the net bias domain name it doesn't really matter what you enter here but i would recommend to keep it short and in my case it's ad uh, for my subdomain name and that's perfect uh, in my case click next and the locations for database log and syswall um, the defaults are fine in most cases if you have a larger environment you most likely would want to change the location of these folders but in most cases it's fine and i will click next now next and install and now the server server will restart and that's it active directory domain services have been installed as you can see we have few more options on our left menu we can select adds we see our server that has the role we can right click it go to active directory users and computers expand our domain and see what users or groups we have in our domain and that's it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.